Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Uh, if only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. And you can hope show the screens and the usual shit. So? What? Look at this. I got something new. Hang on. Hang on. What the funk cool was that? That is a selfie ring. Um, what the hell is that do? So what is it? It does is it takes out all the shadows and shade. Uh, so let me see if I can put it somewhere. Where... Is that one of those things that kicks that makes the background whatever you want? Yeah, yeah. It kind of, oh, no, no. This this one lights you up so you, there's no shadows on your face. Um, is that good or bad though? That's. Good. I, I think for <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe the shadows is okay. <laughs> what I don't want is I'm not saying anything, but I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe you know, it's all good. I think for us that's really good. Yeah. That's too bad. Well, that's bright. It's too close. Now. Anyway, I'm I'm not gonna screw around. I was using it before, and uh, ah, actually, that's better already. Now you're all staticky, though. Oh, there it goes. Now you're off. Oh, now you're not. I, am I okay? No, you're, it's all like you're scrumching paper. No, no, still crackly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, one sec. Let me get a different mic. That's way better already. Except you can't hear me now. Yeah, it's uh no what was that? It's uh you know what I I was trying to go back to a mic like yours. Yeah. Um that's what I've been using all the time but I I've got a different laptop setup so um just doesn't I hadn't tested this mic doesn't like mic and this laptop don't like each other. Well good. I know right? Um, so let me just make sure I'm recording. Uh, I want to go to that mic. How's that? Is that better? Way better. Yeah, it was just like, it was just really, it was. Like yeah, it was yeah, 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 yeah. How are you? It's been one of those freaking weeks, man. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, it's continuing to be one of those weeks. Yeah, I, I, it's just, um, it's just interesting, right? And it depends, like, well, you know, again, it, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's work depend. I mean, we've been, uh, the liquor stores have been out of control. Yeah. The um, food distributors out of control. Yeah. The health, the immune stuff out of control. Like, it's just insane, right? Now, um, what happens? I mean, it's already slowing, right? I mean, the pantry yeah. load. Yeah. Um, appears appears to be done yeah and you know if, I, I think you and i talked about this you know the 25 cases of pasta you bought last week you're not done yet so you're not running out and buying 25 more cases no. of pasta yeah you're not right so at the end of the day i think even the re the grocers um um for the to people I've talked to, even the grocers have slowed. I think the new normal is probably a little bit better than it was. Yep. Um, because I think we're all, I mean, I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to put on 50 pounds in this freaking event because I'm home all day. Yeah. And this is my 15th day home. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. So I'm home all the time. I'm cooking, I'm cooking. like crazy. Yeah, and so am I. And then I'm drinking yeah. wine like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I, I haven't I, drank I, much. I, don't know. I haven't oh, drank I much. I, uh, I had, uh, I had um, <laughs> dinner the other night with my foodie buddy. So I have, I have this uh, with Peter Rodriguez uh, and, and my friend Laura Vidal. And, and we were supposed to go for African, yeah. um, but obviously we couldn't do that. So we, uh, we had <clears throat> dinner anyway, and we had it over Zoom. Um, so that was, that was pretty fun. Nice. That was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. And that, that, I had a nice tequila. Uh, I had a nice Don Julio for dinner. 
uh, with those guys because that's what we're doing. That's but, what you do. um, but that's it, you know. Like no, I, I find really, it, I, really, I, I find it. I bet I know that everybody I've talked to is we're all probably drinking too much. We're definitely all eating too much. Yeah. Uh, we're probably just finally not watching the news too much. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's just been yeah. an interesting time. It's mm-hmm. just, it, it's not something obviously that we've ever yeah. gone through. Yeah. And, and, and I've never used so much freaking zoom. Yeah. I haven't yeah. been on the Practically phone. I don't, live on zoom. I, oh my Lord. Yeah. I, I, and I, and the phone, I don't think I've used, I don't think, I think I've used more phone in March than I did for the previous 12 months rolling. Wow. Cumulative. Wow. I don't phone that much, right? I'm not yeah. that big of, Oh yeah. my Lord. And I swear to God, I must be on the phone or zoom eight, 10 hours a day. I shit you. Wow. Know. Wow. Right. Wow. But you know, a lot of it's because you're probably over communicating now. Yeah. That's one thing that people should take thing. We had a, a, a good meeting today with, with the La Grotta crew. We had all 13 yeah. on. Okay. I had suggested earlier in the week. I said, listen, yeah. if there's ever been a time to over communicate now, um, yeah. it's probably now. Yeah. Right. And it's yeah. not even sometimes just to focus on business. How are you? Hey, Phil, how are you doing? Yeah. yeah. How's the family? How are you managing? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Like, you know, are you, are you mentally okay? Never mind yeah. just physically. Like it's all that stuff that's important yeah. now too. I mean, this is the yeah. time to shine Yeah. because you'll be remembered, um, you know, if you are, and I've, I've got people that are very business, business focused right now. And I think it's going to bite them in the ass because I think your, your employees or whomever are probably a little freaked out. Because I think most people are. I don't yeah, think you're not freaked think so. out there. You, you, if you're not you, freaked out, I don't know where you live. Yeah, I mean, these are extraordinary times, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so I think you, it's a time yeah. to uh, shine a little bit. Yeah. It's a time where, you know, as a leader. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Right? Yeah, I hear and you. Don't question everything your employees are doing. Don't question every single move they're making. Yeah. Are they working? Are they not working? Can yeah. I trust them? Can I, hey, man, it's going to, in fact, I'm telling you, man, it's going to bite you in the ass. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to bite you in the ass. the wrong time to be. It's the wrong right. time to be looking at that stuff right now. So, I think yeah, that's just my my yeah. personal feeling. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm I'm much I'm rather to give people um, the benefit of the doubt because I even know for myself I'm putting in a ton of hours, probably very similar to you. Yeah. But there's times where I look, I think I, I don't even know what I just did the last two hours because your mind's not there, right? It's yeah, not. Yeah. Yeah. It's and it's not because I'm home. It's because. I'm just distracted. No, because it's it's a super <clears throat> intense time right now, right? Like it is. And I'm not in healthcare, nor are you. Can you no, imagine those people? No, 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 I can't actually. You want intense? Like I, I actually don't, can't. I don't, no, can't. I, I don't even know. So I, I saw this post and and I thought, um, you know, like we, we've got a a, a small pot, a small, uh, no, not a stockpile. We've got a handful of the N95 masks. Um in the house and not because we were stockpiling for this, but because when, when you do work around the house and you're like, you're doing uh renos or anything like that, you use N95 masks, right? Which are the dusk right. dust masks. And so we've got a handful of those. And then I saw the, I've been seeing, you know, the calls for masks out there, you know, like that they don't have enough. They right. don't have enough. Right. And, and uh, so I, I offered them and then, um, you know, what a couple of the nurses I know said to me, you know what, you should keep it. Like you, you've got, you've got parents that are in their eighties, you know, whatever, you, you know, and I said, no, I, I gave them some already. And they said, like, what do you have? And I said, I, I don't know, I've got 10, you know, like there's, there's like two for each of the family members. There's five of us. That's all I got. And they said, no, no, you keep it. Like what we're talking about, like she said, I'd use 10 in like a shift. You yeah, know? but at least let me cover um, a shift. Yeah, and that's what I said to her too. I said maybe you should just take them, right? But I, I, um, I, I can't imagine. Like I can't no, imagine I going just, and not having enough equipment, like all that kind of I, stuff. I don't get it either. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand healthcare professionals on a good day. Yeah. Because yeah. like on, on a normal day, because amazing. I just don't, I don't understand how you. Yeah. Can, I mean, you got to be a special breed. Yeah. To, yeah. To their dedication is amazing, right? Like and I think in a situation I think like this, a, I have no yeah. understanding of you people. Yeah. God it's, bless it's, you. Thank you God. Know, it's, it's a thank you from us, right? Is, is uh, oh, what you're Lord, doing it's amazing. And, and, uh, could never couldn't do imagine it. doing it. Couldn't, couldn't even couldn't fathom do what you do, couldn't but do it. uh, it's amazing. So honestly, I couldn't yeah. do it, Phil. That's the yeah. thing. And yeah. even like in frontline retail, I mean, you know, I know people, I know they're not healthcare professionals. We'll try eating without them out there. These people yeah, but, are scared but, too, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and they're, they're serving, they're serving customers, and they're you, you know, know 
touching money or not yeah, or, but are trying to do their best yeah and yeah. then you got people and potentially yelling at them or getting mad because they're out of stocks like you i sure you want to beat somebody when they're like shut up go home so, so i Talk had out of people i had um i got in trouble i posted it on instagram but i went to my local longos the other morning at 8 a.m to do a shop and <clears> um didn't really think anything of it but because my neighborhood is a little bit older anyway um, but, uh, one of the ladies, one of the customers who was lining up in line, like me, um, said to me, you're young, you shouldn't be here. And I said, what, what are you talking about? And it was, uh, eight 30 in the morning. Right. So I didn't realize senior that, hour? Um, yeah, they had put in place mm-hmm. like a, um, older, like a senior and a vulnerable yeah. hour. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and the cashier, um, bless her heart was like, you know, it's, you know, let's, let's not yell at each other. And I said to her, is that really the rule? And she said, well, we've put that in place. And I said, then I'm, it's my fault, right? Like, don't, it's okay. Right. Like, it's okay. I should get in trouble for that. It's, it's my fault. I I didn't mean to do it. Yeah. I didn't read the signs. I didn't mean to do it, but it's okay. Right. Like they just, uh, I, I, and I think the point there was just like, they are facing some really tough circumstances. Right. You know, and they, like, I'm a regular, they know me there, you know, like that's where we do all our shops and, and so, you know, she obviously felt bad. And I, I was like, no, this, this is my fault. I won't do it again. Right. I won't. Yeah, be but you feel bad her, because you know? that the old lady yeah, who's yeah, in front yeah. of you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is, she's, she's has a, and she's scared. She's, she's, she's scared, scared and she's you know, right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she's yeah, right. Yeah, this yeah. is dedicated to us yeah. so that we can yeah. have a little not worry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. About catching this. I mean, yeah. I can't, it's not that you do it on purpose, but nope. like, that's the thing, like to be frontline right now, it's, it's, yeah. it's gotta be tough. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be tough. And you know, yeah. it's not a, it's a thankless job on a good day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I just hope people are just a little smarter out there yeah. and being a little more compassionate and maybe yeah. even a smile or just a thank yeah. you. Yeah. You know, thanks for coming in today to yeah. bring my, my stuff through because I sure that's, I'm sure that's what you want to do yeah. while you're worried yeah. about your family getting coronavirus yeah. because yeah. now you've seen 400 people today. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. as I self-isolate. Yeah, with a laptop yeah. attached to me all day and complaining yeah. that I'm on phone and Zoom. I uh, so one of the things you know that I mean? I'm uh, I'm struggling with is is borders, right? Is uh, I've started leaving the laptop um, down here in the basement where I work. So sometimes I podcast from there, my right. desk. Um, so I've started leaving it there because I don't have any borders. I I work. I seem to work far more than I did before. I was working a lot already. And yeah. then I just feel like now that I'm in the house and I'm not going anywhere, I'm working even more than that. Um, I get it. You know, and I, just, I get it. So I, I'm trying to, to put a stop you know, to it. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. So I, I that's so, same thing. Yeah. So, you know, what I did was I, um, this is new. Like I've literally been at it two days because I just, I woke up one day and went, my God, I can wake up early because I can. Right. Not because. I, there's no, I haven't set an alarm clock or anything. The dog wakes me up at 6 a.m. Cause she got to go to the washroom, but then I'm up and then, you know, I take a quick shower and then I, I have a coffee and I start work. Right. Um, you know, and, and then I'll work like 6 a.m. till pretty much 6 p.m., 7 p.m., take a break. Right. And then yeah. if I'm thinking about something, I'll go back again. Right. Yeah. And so finally it's caught up to me. So I went, all right, you know what, like, here's what I'm going to do the charger for the laptop now no longer leaves the office desk. Do you know, like, right. and that gives me like a five to six hour tether, you know, and then, yeah. you know, and then that's like a, you know, and then I run out of battery. I, I have to make choices. Do I go downstairs and like plug myself in and continue working or do I just leave it and then, you know, or plug it in and leave it and then come back the next day. Right. So it's the, um, you know, I don't I, I'd be interested to hear what everybody else's tips are, whether they're struggling with the same things, but I'm kind of like, I got I to gotta stop this. I got to figure out how to like, you know, I'm just working. Well, like I think a that's the part that a lot of you know? employers don't, and I don't think there's a lot of employers that don't understand that, right? Is I, I, it's worse at home. I work way too much. I'm to the point where, you know what, I'm doing this. I'm thinking the same thing you are. I'm thinking, you know what, it's Saturday tomorrow, which I normally work. Okay, you know what, fuck mm-hmm. it. No. Nope. Like seriously, no. well, what for? Yeah. Like no. for what? Yeah. It's uh, you know it's what? just it's, yeah. It's too much. It's enough now. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. I, you 
And, you know, and, I, and I'm like everybody, you know, I'm not worried or stressed out per se, but guess what? I'm a little worried. I'm a little stressed out. Uh, no, no, I'm worried and, I'm not, and stressed and out. Like, I'm, and I'm just being rational about my mind. It's not like, but, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. It's not that I'm yeah. sitting there, oh, my God, it's the, it's not the end of the world. It's not doomsday, no. right? It's, it's, it's none of that. But yeah, but it's but it's it feels like it feels surreal. I know. I it's got get a it. little doomsday ish, right? There's well, some revelations going on here. There's locust well, in Africa. A doomsday, There's a though. couple of oh, yeah. earthquakes. <laughs> There's uh Yeah. Eh. Jeez, honestly, that's all we need. <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not, you know, don't No, I'm with you. you know, it's if not, you guys are if you guys are worried that, that. Like, we're we're just a bunch of idiots. No, 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 we're just kidding. It's not that bad, but exactly. Yeah. It's not that bad. And and you know what? And it's unfortunate that the death toll is going to be very high for this, but very, you know, very, yeah, it's not, it's not smallpox high. No, like if this, had, if, if we didn't have a vaccine and this is smallpox and half the world gets it, 30% are dying. Yeah. That's small. We're going to be high though. We're going to be 15, 16%, I think. No, I, 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 I watched that Bill Gates thing. Yet. He was on um, CNN yeah. last yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. And the way they seem to be tracking it based on what they know, it's probably sitting at about a percent. Is what um, death toll will be I versus statistically hospitalization. Wrong. Well, I, I mean, it's wrong because I, I, I don't think they've got, they don't have enough tests off, don't, even to but even know who's yeah. got it, right? So, but I, that's my point. So yeah, if they're saying yeah. 500,000 people have it, it's not. It's, it's not, probably it's, 10 million that have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But much the death harder. toll is, is a lot easier. I mean, I don't think yeah. it that way. The, yeah. the death toll is easier to count. Yeah. Yeah. Than the than the, yeah, the infections. Okay. okay. That's why okay. that and I think that's okay. what he's implying. All right. That, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. But it's it, and it still doesn't negate the fact people are mm. dying. This is and and people no. are you know and we got to be smarter as the as the yeah. healthy. Yeah. Which is probably why you got shit on by that lady, right? Yeah. Thinking, yeah. yeah. Buddy, seriously. Yeah. Again, very fair. No, and yeah. I, I, I'm not getting mad at you, and I'm, I'm and yeah. and she had. You know, I mean, she had every right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, she yeah, can also yeah. be a little bit nicer too, probably, but that's okay. No, she, honestly, she was she she's was scared. really nice about it. She didn't shit on and me. She's she scared. just, uh, she's it scared. was a matter of fact. Like, it was really, like, you know, she didn't freak out. Yeah. She could have. Okay, well, then that's fine. She, that she, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. She really, then, she was very reasonable about it, about it. So, and I'm sure you apologized profusely about 20 I times. Did, and... I did, because I felt bad, right? I was like, I'll, I'll never do that again. I, I won't, yeah. you won't see me at that time. No, it's just, the it's wrong. I mean, again, if you're going to do that, like, my mom wants to get out of the house and I think she wants to do little shopping mm -hmm. and you know i have been now um like 15 days in the house of essence mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i trip to costco you know yeah. but i practice you know, all the right things right so mm -hmm. i told her said if you really want to go tomorrow I, I can take you in the morning yeah yeah um yeah but yeah we, we can we can make it we can make yeah. it work. yeah 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 um i uh i don't know if you saw it but uh, a retailer in toronto got um absolutely crapped on by the premier for price gouging uh they price gouged before uh, they, well uh, let's, they, let's they be, were let's always price gougers right they were they always not, price gougers yeah. and then he uh he vowed to go after them i think um they are kind do you of think a it was a mistake example no i i 100 don't i don't yeah. think so at all i i don't think uh that retailer has been known they, you know, they, they want to be, you know, they, someone, they price someone told me like, that yesterday. Yeah. They price like they um, have stores in Beverly Hills, yep. um, you know, and, and that's what they charge. Right. And, and, uh, and so I, I think that was uh, quite honestly, I'd be interested in what that price was before COVID-19 is probably still pretty high. I, I would, I would guess like 10, 12 bucks for, for that item before that they were COVID 40, so right. They were 29.99. Yeah. I got it sent to me by a buddy in Toronto. Yeah. And I, I sent a note back. I said, seriously, that's got shit to do with COVID-19. They were yeah, they they're just gouging uh, people for years. But, but, that's not gouging. Um, that's not fair. They, yeah. they, their stores are, it's kind of cool. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, is in a cool part of town. Yeah. That's when I used to go yeah. to because we used to stay up the street yeah, yeah, when we, yeah, yeah. with London, yeah. right? We, yeah. we stayed the Four Seasons and yeah. we walked down to it. Yeah. And it was all kind of cool and it was different, right? Yeah, and it's an upscale getting, boutique getting sort of place, you know. Yeah, yeah. But the yeah. same shit as everybody else. Yeah, they do. They, they, they charge do, a lot except more. for a whole lot more money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So and and but again, uh, the backlash has been huge, right? Is is people are like, hey, I'll remember this forever, right? And you're just like, oh, that's why we t we said it on that special yeah. podcast. Yeah, this is gosh. not the time. No. Th this, I was telling people today. What you do today will will be remembered. I'm telling yeah, you, yeah, like the shit yeah. you pull today. Yeah, and this is why, like I tell employers too with their employees, 
they're not going to forget, man. Be careful what you do. Like really think it through. This yeah. is not the time to go out there like, you know, you know, Joe fighter with a hammer and, you know, down on you kind of thing. Nope. It's going to bite nope. you in the ass. Yeah, it's going to hurt you hard. It's going to bite you in the yeah, ass. It's going to hurt you hard. People just, yeah. you know, people are thinking this is not the time. People are, again, they're in any situation. There's going to be people who abuse things. Mm -hmm. that, that's, but that's every mm -hmm. single day. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. it didn't bother you last week, don't make it up. Don't make it an mm -hmm. issue this week. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah. Not, not yeah. the time. It's, uh, not the time. It's, uh, it, it, you know, what is the time I've, I've had the conversation with a whole bunch of people is, you know, right now, if you're a business and you're, you're trying to, um, you're trying to get out, uh, marketing messages now is a really good time. There are eyeballs. Oh, totally. Um, people are looking for that. Yeah. There are, there are good eyeballs stories, that happy totally stories. focused on these screens. Mm -hmm. uh, their asses are getting wider like mine like mine you know fully stationary you know looking yep. at a screen and so if you're if you were thinking about anything to do with marketing <clears throat> now is now is the time if you can afford it um you know i would i would sign what up what do you suggest marketer. people do um so i don't think you do something that's untrue to your brand um but now is a really good time to uh, you know, like if you're like you guys, you guys are, um, a local, uh, like commercial drive is a local coffee store. Um, I, would, I, I would think, I know you're closed, but, but you have regular customers that miss the experience as much as they miss the coffee. You can buy the coffee online. Kenny, yeah. you pay me to plug that. I subscribed on Amazon. The commercial drive coffee. Uh, yes, company. yes, yes, yes. So, so I'm getting my coffee delivered today and then again in April. Um, I suspect that I'm going to need more than one bag to make it till now to April, but we'll figure that out in a little bit. A bag, uh, a bag's like three, four days. Dude, I, days. I, I barely three days is what I'm making, but I'm cutting into my stockpile. So it makes me nervous. Uh, I am a hundred percent hoarding coffee. Um, you're funny. And, uh, <laughs> um, you're funny. Anyway, but we just but said I, not to be scared. What are you doing? You did the exact same I, 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 you know what? No, I, I, I don't think you should hoard toilet paper, any of those sort of things, but like, I need There's no coffee. such thing as hoarding coffee paper, just see, uh, to, uh, yeah. coffee, just so you know, That's, I'm just, impossible. I'm drinking 30 bags it. at home is not hoarding. Yeah, I'm drinking it. So I, I don't care. Um, but I think there's something neat there, you know, could you host, could you still host happy hours? Could you still host, um, you know, is there a way that you can facilitate, like you have an older, um, you have an older group that, you know, our regulars that meet is there a way that you can connect those guys and have coffee you know without the cafe do you know what i mean like there there's some really neat pieces in there that allow you know like because one of the things that i think people are really going to struggle with the the longer we're in this mess right the longer that we're isolated is the social part of the isolation right is is right. That, you know right now like you and I, we, we get together and, and quite frankly, I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you on most days. Listen, I, I get uh, it. I, I totally home, understand right? that. Like, yeah, exactly. And, and so that's why you're I saying think, today, um, do during the day, I thought, well, it's even better. I get to see you. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. So I, and I think, I think that, you know, as you go, the random meetups are going to really hurt or the lack thereof is going to hurt right. because I think, uh, you know, you, you get, you get used to people that you got to talk to, but at some point, you don't run into somebody new, just a new face here or there that I think that's, I don't know what the social phenomena is called for that or whatever it is, but I think it hurts you down the road. Right. So I think that being able yeah, to host, disagree with you. you know, random kind of meetups to say, Hey, listen, you know what? Like, there's this is not the time though. Like that's a problem. We're all kind of scared. So, like, what do you do? No, no. I'm talking about virtually. So I'm not talking about oh, in, virtually. In a so I'm, I'm talking about like, could you still host, you know, like somehow oh, figure out how to reach sense. those guys? And then, hey, you know what? 9 a.m. crowd. Come on back into the virtual cafe and oh, have coffee. Cute. I like that. You know idea. what I mean? Um, hmm. You could commercially figure out, you know what? Like all of the people, if you're out there on social media and you happen to see commercial drive, message us we'll give you a special price on that's like, interesting uh, a, a 300 gram bag of commercial drive coffee you can brew it and then show up here at this 9 a.m commercial drive so there's a simulation of you guys would have come out here and ha hung out from 9 to 10 so you know what like 
come on back in. And then you might, you might see faces that you would see that maybe you never talked to, right? Like maybe I came in every day and you sat like, I kind of like that. It's also, do you miss Steven or do you miss yeah. me? I mean, it could be like our, um, yeah. our baristas, yeah. right? Yeah. There's, there's kind of a, there's a neat viral thing there. There's some commerciality to it for you, right? Because you can say to them, listen, if you want to like the whole experience, message me, right? I'll, I'll figure out, you know, how to, um, drop you a bag of coffee curbside or whatever it is, right? You know, so that you can get your coffee. They're all locals anyway. I'm, text, right? yeah, I'm texting this as and, we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because then, and then, you know what? Make, brew your commercial drive and then show up here and then we'll we'll hang out together. Hmm. Oh, I know. Um, so there's stuff like that. There is also, uh, if you are... Um, if you're ever thinking about putting out content, um, I'm thinking about our vitamin friend. Um, you know, I, I know uh, he's kind of on a path that he's taking. If you're a vitamin and supplements company, now yeah. is a good time to put out a bit of thought leadership. Uh, we are all about staying healthy right now. And if you think of what you hear, what you hear a lot of is um, you need to stay healthy. You need to be healthy. Uh, and all these people are dying right? But in between there is, wait a second, <laughs> I need a little bit, <laughs> like, do I just keep eating the four food groups? What the hell do I do? What kind of supplements do I take? Like, yeah. what am I thinking about? You know, like, is that, is that me just going out and buying a lot of grapefruit and eating grapefruits all day? Like, what the hell? What does it mean? What does it mean, right? Like, how, how do I do this for me so that I don't, um, so I can immune, immunize myself as, as best as I can. Um, so I think there's something in there as well. You're, um, I like the, the coffee one better because I'll tell you yeah. why. You know what? It's more yeah. of a social thing. For it's, sure. It's uh, a For non sure. effect. The challenge you have when you go down, because yeah. what we don't want to do yeah. is you don't want to make any, impl any implication nope. that yeah. this is going to help. Yeah. It, it's not going to hurt you. Yep. But there's yep, been yep, enough even on yep. TV lately with a lot of those doctors that vitamin C is great for you, but there's yeah. really no, does it work no, for no, COVID and all yeah, that? Yeah, and that's what I don't, but I, I love yeah. the idea. I think yeah. I'm just thinking like pet stores, what they could do uh, virtually, you know, like you had those ones where you, you go to the the group to meet the new pet owners. You can yep. do that online. Yep. Um, I'm thinking, uh, geez, even if you're, even if you're one of the, even if you're one of the growth, what even the restaurants? You know, it might be a cool time to to potentially maybe invite people in and cook for them online. You don't have to give the whole secret, maybe the recipe away, but even then, who gives a shit? I, I, like if I, I remember, think, if you show me a cool recipe and I, I know think, you're a guy down the street, yeah. I think, fuck, man, when this is over, I'm going to you, buddy. I, I think it that was I, awesome. I think there's partnerships here with um, folks like Chef's Plate. You know, Chef's Plate, like, or any of these yeah, Insta Meal, yeah. you know, companies. Um, for you to be able to say, Hey, listen, um, I, you know what, I, I, uh, the first thing that popped in my head is Indian food. So if I'm an, I'm an Indian restaurant that everybody loves, um, Hey, chef's plate, make me, um, or send out a butter chicken recipe, right? Um, we can send out a kit to everyone who signs up, right? Um, they, they've got to pay for it obviously. Right. But, um, send it to them. They'll pick it up. They'll crack open all the ingredients. And then I will host a show where I cook and I show you how to prep I even, each I one of those ingredients. I love that even better. Do you know I what I mean? And, and it might be a class of like 12 people on a screen like this that Whatever. are watching you make this thing and they can follow you along in their, you know, in their kitchen, which means then at the end of it, you can have a nice meal. You all have the same food now. Exactly. You have a nice conversation and probably ask the chef some questions, hang out, you know, like find out how everybody's doing. There's, there's, um, there's some really cool things. I think here. there's, I think there's some really um, cool play. Out yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm typing as I think, right? Yeah. But I think there's, there's a lot there to think about in terms of, um, you know, how you manage that. If you're a pet, if you're a pet business, um, I can tell you like, like me with the puppy, um, I'm, I'm starting to get into the bottom third of my, um, kibble that came with, uh, you know, that they gave me with the dog. Um, so I have to start thinking about what to feed the dog. And quite honestly, she's so little that I think I'm going to make my own food, but, uh, for her. Right. Yeah. Um, but 
what I would really love is some really good advice on right. what is it that I'm supposed to make? What am I supposed to, you know, but I, I can't right. find it. Right. Like it's, yeah. it's, uh, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to like concatenate like four different articles that I've read. Right. But what would be really, really great is to be able to talk to someone about here's what I, I should be feeding her or here are the ingredients that I need to feed her or the uh, mixture and the components that I should really be thinking about. Um, so I don't have to worry about kibble or, or buying dog or food whatever. until exactly. we're out of this mess. Right. So, yeah. I think that's the thing though. I think that the, what stuff, stuff like this breeds, it should breed, breed that creativity. Yeah. yeah. Which is, you know, just looking at, I, I think that's a great idea. I think there's some really cool, because it's so easy right now to just get down in the dumps. Yep. Yep. And, and I can, I can't, I cannot appreciate what people in retail are going through right now. No. Um, I know that there's, head offices close with a lot of the grocers yeah. and the officer in the stores because they're short staff yeah and they're just scrambling so it's it's a bitch right you're just yeah. it's you're really in survival yeah. mode yeah but you know as down as that can bring you and it's it's there there are ways to 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 to, to what you're saying even flip yeah so even if you're in the yeah. stores as a as a grocery store yeah maybe it's it's keeping distance appreciate appreciating that but maybe mm-hmm handing out some cool recipe cards mm-hmm. or maybe it's it's time for the your favorite uh uh the, the staff recipes the things they're having as they're maybe home or yep. or i don't know it's like anything yeah. to have, just yeah. to get out of the debbie downers because yeah. it's hard yeah. it's not hard to go into the debbie downer stage yeah yeah it's hard it really yeah. is it's 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 so much uncertainty and we're yeah. scared yeah and it's so unprecedented times, times right like we are in unprecedented times where you know like none of us lived through the pl- you know, the spanish flu nope. nobody's alive from that nope. it's 102 years ago 103 years ago yeah this is brand new for everybody yeah yeah yeah, yeah. This is, and this yeah. is a, it's not it's not pleasant it's 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 kind of freaky well yeah. not kind of freaky it's freaky it's freaky it's yeah. like we're watching a freaking yeah. sci-fi yeah. Yeah, yeah they were showing the news yeah. yesterday showing clips of uh toronto uh, New York, uh, Chicago, uh, Milano, Rome. The fucking streets are dead. These are big freaking cities. Yeah, yeah. And you're thinking, like, this is like watching I Am Legend or, yeah. you know, World War Z. Like, you're thinking, yeah. what the yeah. hell? One, one of the guys that um, I work with, he, he has a um, – he's launching an Alzheimer's app, um, and he's a nurse in New York City. And I just said to him, I talked to him today and I said, uh, are, are you okay? Like he said, yeah, everything's okay. But uh, right now, you know, um, you know, he still makes in-house calls because he's an in-house nurse. And I said, oh my God. Right. And he said, no, no, you know, like I've got, I've got the, I've got decent gear and you know, like everyone's size. Nice. But he said, the most amazing part is I can get in and out of New York. Like, you know, <laughs> there's nobody there. <laughs> like, oh my God. Like, I'm not sure that that's, no. There's nobody there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, yeah. it honestly, yeah. when, when you, yeah. it looks like a freaking sci-fi. Yeah. It really does. I, um, yeah, so I, 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 I was thinking about all these things. I was thinking about all these marketing um, things. I was just thinking about people and the, this is a, a chance for people to learn. Um, I think that's the other thing that I was thinking about. I wanted to talk to you about is, like people in our stages of life who um, you and I talk about this a lot, but people who are, um, you know, looking to get out or looking to make a change. Yeah. Now is a really good time to kickstart any online learning that you might want to do. Um, there are um, a ton of places you can go to Udemy. I'll put some links in the podcast, right? Yeah. But Udemy is one of them. Um, Khan Academy is another one. There's uh, locals, if you're in Toronto, like Brain Station and um, Hacker U and, you know, like all of them are, you know, hosting lessons and, and you know, all sorts of things online, right? Um, you know, even LinkedIn has, is it called Linda? I is the so. LinkedIn, LinkedIn has its own kind of learning academy yeah. as well. Um, I, I would stop watching or reduce your mix of Netflix and uh, Amazon Prime and spend some time um, thinking about like, this is a, you know, everyone says that everyone says it's a good time know, to think. Yeah. Like, you know, cause you. everyone says like, Hey, I would have killed for a chance to take a break 
and this stop doing, it. you've got it now, right? And, and it. now it's within your balance to be able exactly. to, particularly if you're in our stage of life or older, right? Where you've got older children who look after themselves. <clears throat> right. I think um, it's a particularly rough time for parents who have, if you have children under eight, um, it's probably really rough right now. Right. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like trying to work and then manage, you know, little kids. But if you're, if you're in our like stages, kids are our age, our kids, older, ages, you know, they can manage. This is a good time. Yeah. To do yeah. It. Also yeah. Now is a good time. Like go study, learn something new. I agree. Pick something. Um, I totally you can, agree. you can totally balance your day to do that and still have lots of time. Um, totally agree. You know, yeah. And there's enough, there's, there's enough even programs out there right now yeah. that really and truly um, you could probably get some funding to, to do it. Yep. Because yeah, yeah, I yeah. think even as much as government's doing it to make sure people uh, bail out, yeah. uh, have bail out uh, money, um, it's also, you know what? It's not a bad move on their part either. Yeah, because yeah. You never know yeah I mean, you can reskill and retrain. 100%. Uh, 100%. It's a good time to talk to people like Lori. Yeah. Like yeah. This, it's not, if you've yeah. thought about maybe um, yeah. a life coach, a business coach or whatever yeah. it is, you know what? It's not necessarily the worst now time to time. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, you have time. And yeah. I kind of agree with you. I think, uh, you know, watching too much Fox or CNN, whichever side you happen to uh, slant no. on. No. Um, um, too much Netflix. I know. I just, I, you know, I'm trying yeah. to be hey, yeah. a while. No, hey, I, hey, I, hey, I hear hey, you. Oh, I hear you. I got to take the middle ground, right? I'm trying to be that yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that you'd watch that first one, but anyway, I had to say it anyway. But if you want to, you know, whatever you watch, yeah. or it's that, like you said, too much Netflix and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. I seriously do a little reading, yeah. do a little thinking. Yeah. I love the idea of what you said about, you know, this is a good time to sit down and reevaluate and say, okay, I've got a few extra hours in a day instead of watching the Netflix. Yeah. 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 You know, I really wanted to learn how to uh, uh, be a uh, fix a radio. I don't know how you're going to do with that, but whatever. Yeah. 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 Like, well, it's I, a good time. You know, like, and that's the thing is like, so in the middle of all this working, what I can't complain about is, I figured out how to do some of that stuff, right? So there's a faucet upstairs that I've been meaning to fix. So I fixed it. You know, I installed a new faucet, right? Like I've been able to do some of that stuff because right. I just, I carved away the time to do it, right? So you, so you I'm know, stupid. Like, I'm, all I'm doing is working. I'm going to be more like you. That's enough uh, now. I'm tired. I, I am. I think, um, I think that I, I, I was really tired. Like I think, I think in the beginning, the, working was a coping mechanism, right? It was like, I think I'm working, I'm not, I'm not thinking about what's going on in the world. You know, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. I but get but it. now it's like, okay, you know, like That's I've got to, you know, I've got to put That's some enough. balance back in. So, well, today, yeah. like, I mean, today I was supposed to be doing um, everybody, but the one that takes most of my time. Yeah. Right. And and it's and it turned out to be a three hour day with them. I'm yeah. behind with other people, and I'm thinking, no, no, yeah. no, 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 that's enough yeah, of yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got to set yeah. boundaries and rules yeah. again. There's, I'm, yeah. We're getting that little. Yeah. You got that face again. I mean, because I it's my. I fault. saw that face in Florida. Uh, I know this fault. face. It's my yeah. fault. Okay. Right, and it's okay. a lot of it is because I think it's just it's a coping mechanism, like you said. Yeah. I'm, I'm keeping busy and I'm keeping yeah, my you dive right busy. into it. You know, exactly. Now I got time, you know, what's the big deal? I can do exactly. it. Exactly. But that's not the way to do it. Now I have time. I should be doing a whole bunch yeah, of other yeah. things. Maybe this is a good time to really, to go back into a good networking. Yeah. Maybe it's a good time to be writing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Maybe yeah. it's a good time to be blogging again or yeah. something or, or like you said, maybe it's, there's going to be a lot of cool online play coming out of yeah. this. There's going to be a lot of opportunities. Um, when, when we get out of this mess, there really will. It doesn't have to be I think there's going to be a lot. Yeah. Fucking, I'm not saying yeah. that we're all going to be criminals and we're looking for people's demise. That's not what I'm getting at. No. There could be a lot of opportunities to try different things. Yeah. Yeah. To look at things I maybe didn't think of at, yeah. before. Um, I, I was also going to tell you, I'm sorry, I've, I've been jumping around a little bit. I was going to tell you that um, during the course of dinner with Peter Rodriguez last night, he was telling me about TechTO. And he said to me, I went to TechTO. And I said, I thought, and he said, yeah, yeah, it was canceled. It was, they canceled the physical portion and brought it online. Yeah, tech. And, uh, and I said to him, so how was it? Right. Cause I'm, you know, like yeah. you and I talked about this. Right. And, uh, but I was, I was skeptical about um, what it could look like, what it would feel like. And he said that it was one of the most compelling events he'd ever been to in the last I don't know how long Why? he said they had, um, he said they had, uh, just like 
if you were there, they had keynote speakers, they had people rotating in and out. He said it was super smooth. He said there was a networking session with speed dating almost. So he like said, that. you know, you could go in and that what they would do is they would pair you up. It was like you and me would show up on a screen like this. We would spend a couple of minutes together and then the technology would automatically rotate you out and drop you in somebody else. Um, which in some senses is actually even better than being there live because live you, you have moments where like, like you and I, we don't have any feelings. We don't have any shame. We kind of go table to table and figure out what everybody does. But if right. you feel a bit shy or you feel a little bit, whatever, you may not, you might get stuck with someone, you know, and then you wouldn't go around and, and kind of circle. Or you know what you do? Ah, you get distracted. You go get a hot dog. Uh, you know, you yeah, do something. Yeah, yeah. So that all happens too. Like I think at the yeah. end of the day, it's probably a massively efficient use of time. Yeah. And even for if you're a keynote speaker, think about it. Or anybody who's sort of presenting at that time, you got a small window to hang on to me. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I might be in person less inclined to be rude and walk away. Yeah. On a, on a, on this. Yeah. Hey man, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. yeah. Different game. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of neat. So he, cool. he was very, uh, very Could excited about it. Could change the way trade shows so. go. Yeah, I yeah, think this, this, yeah, this, this, yeah. this couple months, because we're not going to be out of this by Easter, no matter what some people think, it's not going to happen, right? This is going to drag on for uh, August. This is going to this is going to drag on till August. We're going to get yeah. out of it for a little bit. We're going to go back into it in the winter. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully by then we're getting closer to a vaccine or some kind yeah. of drug, and it won't be like this. But this is 12, 18 months. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the bottom line. This, yeah. this, we're not going to be out of this shit. I, I, I think there's a new dispatch. reality that includes yeah. some of this in there somewhere, yes. right? And so, I think that's all we need to yeah. don't, don't, not doom and gloom. The world's not stopping. No, nope. no, that's not what we're saying. No. Nope. But if you think this is going to go away like an allergy, this is not going to, no, this isn't it. No. no. I don't think so no. anyway. No, no, no. Right? I don't think so either. I, I think, uh, I think there's so things What are we going to learn from it? And, so what do we do? What's the learning? Yeah. How do you, how do you change, how do get, right? How, how do we do get better at this? You do? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This I is agree. a good time. I agree. For that. Yeah. I mean, again, I'm not, yeah. it's not a good time for some yeah, people, yeah. but yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. So kind of like a bunch of things, um, very, you know, kind of COVID related, but, but, um, some really like neat opportunities. To be able There's to some cool do. stuff that's going to happen out there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're even all talking as groups of friends, like you, you know, that thing we talked about in Florida, uh, you know, it's getting kind of cooler. I've been thinking about that quite a bit, eh? Have you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, just you know, here and there. Yeah, and I, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then you start yeah. like uh, you start working on something. Well, see, yeah. This could be a very cool component, or this could yeah. be a, a, a module. Okay. Or okay. geez, how how would we do this on YouTube? How would we yeah. do this on a podcast? Yeah. Geez, you know, I'm all of a sudden all these yeah. really cool ways. I mean, yeah. I think even from a sales perspective, I was I talked to the sales team. This morning, I said, you know, as much as as asses and seats or how many calls did you do today in person and all that bullshit, which is the way the world is, and it can be for some commodities at some times, um, these mediums are quite quite nice. You can you can have a very effective and efficient phone call. Um, typically, the person is looking at you is dedicated to those mm -hmm. moments, mm -hmm. not distracted by fifty other things. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of stuff done. Do your follow up. It forces you to prep better because mm -hmm. you know you've got tighter windows. Yep. And there's a lot of benefits. And then you can still augment it definitively with some human contact because it's lovely to see people. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, this this is going to change how people do a yeah. lot of things, yeah. buddy. A lot of. I things. am I am looking at so a couple of the companies I'm working with. I'm learning a lot right now. I'll probably have a ton more to share, but I've been looking at um, some. They're kind of different things, but I've been looking at 3D, uh, uh, 3D video, and then virtual reality um, video. So they're really different things, right? They're um, totally different. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I've been looking at the two because in the sales process, when you can't get to them and you need to put something in their hands, this might be the way to do it. Absolutely. Um, you know, and so there's a neat. Uh, in a couple of uh, one company in particular, we're looking at is there a way to tie to the prospecting process and the ability to go, hey Kenny, would you be interested in this? Let me send you a Google Cardboard, right? Which is the yep. little, yep. Um, you know, it, it's like ten dollars, right? It's a ten dollar cardboard thing that puts 
um, you know, some VR virtual reality in your hands. You uh, drop your phone in there. We'll give you a special link, uh, maybe to a site that nobody else can get to, right? Or a YouTube uh, video that's unlisted. And then you would pop this thing in and then you could literally look at, you know, the product that we want you to look at and it can be as close to your hands as you can possibly get it. Okay. So we're going to put uh, uh, my buddy Steve on next week. I'm going to see if Steve wants to do the contest. Okay. He's the okay. one that's got the toy. Okay. The one I did in New York and it's okay. a virtual reality kind of thing. Let's oh yeah. On. Yes, please. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, as soon amazing. as I get off this, I'm going to text yeah. him and see if he wants to come yeah. on to talk about that. Okay. And let's walk him down this, this yeah. rosy trail of who the hell knows where this path goes. Cause, cause I think, I think that like those are, uh, we were really struggling because because one of them, a couple of them, are physical products that you you just need to see, right? Even Nimi, I get it. Even Nimi, right? Nimi's a physical band. Like, how the hell do you talk about it if they can't see and they can't touch exactly. it, right? Like, exactly. So so this gets them as close as you can possibly get to it. So I'm gonna see if yeah. Steve wants to come on. I'm gonna text awesome. him as soon as we get off. Awesome, that's amazing. Gosh, I might even text yeah. him right now. <laughs> because you know why? Because I can do that now. Yeah, I understand. Baby. You better believe it. Yeah, baby. It's okay. Everybody who listens from Brooke knows I'm a tech Luddite, but that's okay. I can use it once I get going, yeah. but I don't want to learn the shit. Um, what I would say to our community is um, we, we have a, a, a very passive community who, um, who listens a lot and doesn't necessarily uh, ping us a lot, but we would love to hear from you. Um, if you guys are interested, um, Kenny and I would, um, would love to hang out with you guys. We could host oh, one sure. of these um, Zoom meetings, and uh, if we had small businesses that either want to like kick around some ideas, or or you, you just want to come and hang out, we would uh, we would love it very very much. So um, uh, if you can you can hit us up on Twitter or email, um, you know, Facebook, whatever, or Facebook, whatever you want, and then just message us, and then and then we'll get details out to you guys on how to do that. Um, the setup is really simple. But uh, we, we would love to have you on. Uh, we'd probably even make it an episode uh, just of us hanging out. So um, that would be really cool. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Oh, he's already answering for sure. What would, oh, be, yeah? would be fun? My first okay. from okay. home? <laughs> of course. Yeah, that's amazing. Fantastic. That's awesome. I will, uh, I will chat with them after we get off this. Yay. Okay. Okay. Anyway, that's all, that's all awesome. I got. I, I I got these like random thoughts rattling in my head, but uh, um, it's kind of what I was thinking about. Kind of what I've been working on all week. So, yeah, pretty cool, buddy. Well, I got nothing else yeah. for you either. Yeah, I'm not gonna go back to work. I'm gonna go start making dinner. Yes, yes. So last night I I blew you off because I was playing Monopoly with the kids. Well, um, it's funny. It's seven thirty, yeah. and I said, "Oh fuck, I gotta do the podcast." Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I look at the phone. I thought, yeah. oh my God, it's like, like Phil's just, just made my night. Cause I was tired. You know what I mean? <laughs> so for, for listeners last night, I, I started, I, you know, so last night I, I quit work and then the kids wanted to play Monopoly and I was in the middle of getting my ass kicked at Monopoly. I was tired and I was getting my ass kicked at Monopoly and I was just like, what the fuck? I can't leave this game like this. And so I texted Kenny and said, listen, is it okay if we do it tomorrow or another day? And he was just like, and then like, but bing, Kenny comes back and goes, yeah, no problem. Tomorrow right. afternoon, I'm like, yes. Oh, you exactly. Know, and then, uh, you know. Plus, you so, know what this is nice, Phil? It's a nice break in the afternoon. I, I, I yeah. quite, again, just to get away yeah. from doing work. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's kind of nice just to uh, shoot yeah. the shit and, and make yeah. me think again. I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired yeah. of uh, the mundane um shit that i that, that, that sometimes i do I, I like i i miss this thinking getting excited yeah. about uh, yeah, where, yeah. where things could go yeah 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 i hear you i hear you very cool it's uh it's very cool okay my friend right, yeah, that's, man. It. that's it that's, that's it. it that's it that's that's how you burn 50 minutes in life <laughs> um to our listeners be safe um yeah, stay, stay home. healthy yeah be careful. stay healthy like, seriously be try careful. not to eat too much Ah, forget that. <laughs> I hear, yeah. I hear that when you stay home, booze and food actually is negative calories. So that's just my what I heard. I'm not going to say it's true. I'm not going to say fake news, but that's what I heard. I'm just going out there. I'm on a limb. I'm not saying I. Maybe you got to do some reading, but that's what I heard. Lori, that came from Kenny, not me. <laughs> that's all I have to say. 
Uh, you take uh, care don't of yourself. Do that. Now we're getting stuck on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lord, just joke. Uh, oh my God. He's sweating. There's pizza. Because I know now it's going to be nothing but trouble. Uh, um, listen, you have a good week. Thanks, buddy. You I'll too. talk to you soon. Sounds okay. good, man. Ciao, take ciao. care, man. Bye. Okay. All right, that's the end of this Commerce Life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more Commerce News.